All right, fan, all new tonight, a big development regarding the Confederate statue in Lexington that's been the focus of a lot of debate and controversy in recent weeks. Tonight, the city council voted unanimously to request that statue be moved. Fox A's Danielle Jackson listened in on that meeting and heard from people on both sides of the conversation. Danielle. Neil, that's right, and some people say that this monument doesn't represent the city of Lexington, while others say this is a part of history. This is the monument. This has been the talk of the town for week and weeks, and tonight's decision is one step forward to finding out its future. The passion for why or why not this monument should be removed is as firm as the concrete it's made out of. It's memorial to the fact that the Republic was almost torn apart. Our history is full of warts, and if we forget them, we forget our history, and we're doomed to repeat it. The Confederate monument to me and to a lot of others resembles hate, racism, and the continuance of white supremacy. Protesters on both sides of the conversations have been out for weeks. Tonight was no different. Monday evening during an electronic city council meeting, city leaders were presented with a resolution to remove or relocate the Confederate monument. Several people shared their concerns. It's 2020 and it's time to take that symbol of hate down. It's time to show the citizens of Lexington that it's for everybody and it's not, you know, a city built off of white supremacy. But to some like Tony Pickard, it's not a race issue at all. To me, it means it means that they fought for what they believe in. They fought for their right, their property, their, their freedom, their everything. This conversation remains as a passionate plea both sides are willing to fight for. We don't want to forget World War I or World War II or the Korean conflict. Because when you forget why you have these wars, you forget your history. You are going any route you can to continue to display white supremacy for everybody to see. Again, what is it going to take? Does somebody have to die for this? Now, ultimately, it is up to the Davidson County commissioners to decide on the future of this monument. Live tonight in Davidson County, Danielle Jackson, Fox 8 News. Stay on the story, Danielle. Thank you, Matt.